Hello guys, welcome back to Chasing Infinity. This is Adarsh and today we'll see how you can create your own conversations in your actions using Dialogflow. In my last video, I gave you an introduction and showed you how you can create your first action and we left off here. So if you're new here, go watch the last video or go to console.actions.google.com and in this action section, click on add your first action, click on build and you will be taken to this dialog flow console and you can create your first agent here so click on create let be my first so using this dialog flow agent we will be able to process what the user has said and also create our own responses for the user today we'll see how you can create or design a conversation in dialog flow so we will create intents that can recognize the user utterances and implement a fulfillment for it which can respond to the user. So to demonstrate all this, we will build an app that will tell your lucky number based on your favorite day of the week. So before we start building our action, let me explain what an invocation is. So now let's look at the default welcome intent. Okay. So this is the first intent that gets invoked when a user wants to talk to your action. In this section, we'll modify the default welcome intent so that it greets the user and asks for his or her uh, favorite day of the week. So every intent looks like this. We have context events which we'll look at later. Uh, for now, let's look at training phrases. These are the phrases that the user is likely to say. So this intent will be listening for these particular phrases or similar ones. We will see what actions and parameters are later in this tutorial and let's let's look at responses now. These are a few responses for these training phrases. So when the user says this, uh, we will respond with this. So for this welcome intent, we will uh, respond by welcoming the user and also asking for his or her favorite day of the week okay so now uh, let's delete all these default responses you can delete them one by one or just click here to delete everything and now let's add our own response we will say welcome and ask what is your favorite day of the week so if you want, you can add more responses here and your action will uh, pick one and respond to the user with that. So let's click on save. Okay, once it's saved, let's go back. So when the welcome intent asks for the favorite day of the week, the user will respond with his or her favorite day of the week. And to capture that, we will create a new intent. Okay, so click on create intent and let's name it favorite day. And now let's add some training phrases. So these examples of how the user might express this intent is used to train a machine learning model which allows the agent to match future inputs to the appropriate intent. So here we'll add examples like my favorite day is Saturday. I like Friday and maybe I love so add a few more so it's important that you include all or most of the things that the user is likely to say here uh, so that we can capture all of the cases right we don't uh, leave out any and also since these are used to train a machine learning model it's quite smart and will easily pick out uh, similar phrases right for example uh, instead of Sunday is my favorite, if I say Thursday is my favorite, it'll pick it out and match it with this intent. So as you can see, Dialogflow is automatically picking out the name of the day and it's assigning an entity called sys.date. Okay, so entities are similar things that can be grouped together. Basically, it's like a, a variable, okay, but it takes only uh, related values that is in that group. For example, here it's date. Uh, another example would be fruits, names of fruits, or maybe colors, names of colors. Okay, all those are entities. So entities are similar things. And uh, these variables, okay, uh, those are called parameters. And if you if you notice, uh, Dialogflow did not pick out Monday. So if it did not, simply just highlight Monday, click on this date. So we are actually explicitly telling Dialogflow, okay, uh, Monday also belongs to this entity. So after you have added your training phrases and defined your entity, uh, click on manage parameters and actions. So you can see the date parameter is already added here. 
this is your parameter name and this is the entity type it's just like saying int a right so instead of int it's just date and the variable name instead of a is date and we will uh, use this value inside this uh, parameter date uh, to determine the lucky number and give back a response okay click this required box here okay and you can see another field pops up here called prompts okay click on define prompts and enter a prompt here what is your favorite date so if you want you can add multiple variants of the same question in this prompt section okay add a prompt variant if you want so with this prompt defined we are sure that if by any chance the user did not mention any date or if dialog flow was unable to extract the date parameter uh, from what the user said it will not come to a halt and it will explicitly ask the user for his uh, or her favorite day now we need to generate a lucky number and uh, respond to the user with this we won't be using the normal response like we uh, saw in, with the welcome intent this is simply a, a static response that is if every user uh, had the same lucky number you could simply enter uh, a response like your lucky number is 7 and send this as the end of your conversation so uh, uh, we won't be doing that for each and every user uh, we'll be generating a unique lucky number right so to do that uh, go to the fulfillment section and click on enable fulfillment so uh, what happens here is the value of this parameter is uh, passed to a function where we write the logic to construct a response for this user so this function that i'm talking about is run in the cloud using firebase let's uh, write the logic for that function uh, click on save to save this intent okay it's saved so now uh, in the left navigation click on fulfillment and enable this inline editor okay so now you have this uh, space this index.js file where you will be writing the function that will uh, take the date as a parameter and we will construct a response for the user okay let me zoom in so you can see better so in here delete all this code that's already there and add this code that i'm about to show you so either you can uh, pause the video and copy this code as i add it or you can uh, check out the written version of this tutorial on medium and also on github so i'll leave the links uh, for medium and github in the description and you can go anywhere and just copy this code so uh, this code is in javascript and if you're familiar with that you'll understand this easily so this webhook uh, uses the actions on google node.js client library during a conversation uh, the assistant uh, sends these http requests to this uh, webhook and it will be fulfilled using the function that we are writing and this library it allows you to create a dialog flow app object so with these lines we are importing uh, the actions on Google and the Firebase functions. Okay, so the actions on Google uh, Node.js library allows you to create a dialog flow app object uh, which acts as a wrapper for the dialog flow API. Okay, so here we are using this variable called app and initializing it with the dialog flow object. Okay, now this app object has a function called intent which is used to declare a callback to handle the favorite day intent we specify the intent name here favorite day and it receives two arguments one is a dialog flow conversation object this is basically a client library abstraction of the state of the dialog and includes properties such as the current active dialog flow contacts uh, the surface capabilities of the user etc and the next argument is, uh, is our dialog flow parameters object okay in this case it's the date so if you have multiple parameters you can uh, mention them all here and make sure that the parameter name that you define in the intent uh, matches the name here in this function we'll be writing the logic uh, to generate the lucky number so this is what i've done here uh, when a user says the day for example say monday the date parameter will contain the date of the next coming monday so here i am using the date class in java and initializing this variable to its object and now into this lucky number i am using the javascript functions available in math library 
to generate a random number based on the date okay so the object of date contains many functions like get date get month get year so you can uh, use anything you want or else if you don't want to implement this logic it's completely fine you can use any logic of your choice uh, to generate a lucky number next we use the con dot close method to end the conversation and we pass this response string okay which is your lucky number is and your generated lucky number and this last line uh, it is used to set the dialog flow app object to handle the https post request okay and now you simply click on deploy let me go back to normal size so it'll take a few seconds to deploy so next to uh, test your action uh, you can either click here or go to your actions console and click on simulator on the left side so this is the simulator uh, you can test your app in this or else you can uh, test it on your phone as well on the actual google assistant so type in talk to my test app and hit enter or click here on the suggestion put talk to my test app all right here's the test version of my okay. test app so this is our welcome intent welcome. that just what got invoked so it says week? welcome what is your favorite day of the week let's say friday your lucky number is 21. And your lucky number is 21. So on your phone, start the Google Assistant and click on the second icon on the top. It will open up this page. Go here and select account and make sure that you have logged in with your correct account uh, that you are using to build this action. Now go back and as the input, say exactly what you told in your uh, simulator console right so that is talk to my test app okay google talk to my test app okay let's get the test version of my test app welcome what is your favorite day of the week i like sunday your lucky number is one so that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching and in the next video, uh, we will set up Firebase on our system and write our code for the webhook locally and deploy it. Okay. I hope you learned something new from this video today. And if you did, do leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more practical tutorials. And I'll see you in the next one.